Hi everyone, this is Ramya from Tekka Joe Master here in YC Medical College, Kalanjira. So today I'm here to provide you some information regarding how to utilize the three minutes preparation time in your OET speaking role play card. You know that you will be getting two role play cards with in which you will be having three plus three six minutes preparation time. For the first role play, definitely you will have three minutes preparation and you need to perform it for five minutes. In the same way, the second card also you will have three minutes preparation and you need to perform the role play for five minutes. So many students will be having a rush and they will be so much tensed when they get the role play card as such. They don't know what they have to do, where they have to look, what all information has to be noted. So definitely I have seen students becoming panic when they get the card as such. But you know something, when you become panic, it is not going to do anything good for you. So what you have to do is that you have to relax. Okay, when you get a card, in any way when you enter the exam hall itself, you will understand that anyway you need to face the exam. So there is no, there is no matter of uh, getting tensed or stressed. That does not going to do, or that is not going to bring anything good on you. So what you can do, you can just start reading the role play case, relaxed and see through the role play card what all information has been provided after all everything is there in front of you we just want to make use of it isn't that so this is not a hectic task okay so let's see how to utilize this three minutes time the first thing what you have to say is that you need to understand the settings analyze just close your eyes and analyze that you are sitting in front of a patient and the setting is the community center, hospital ward, emergency department, whatever it is. Just imagine that you are in that situation. As a nurse, you have the courage to go through the situation. No worries for that. Okay, so you have the first thing that you need to say is the settings. Through the settings, you will understand that where you are sitting. If it is in the hospital ward, definitely that means it is a known case. And if it is a community center, it is not mandatory that it is an unknown case. There are situations in which it become a known case also. So the first thing is that see through the settings and understand what is the setting. The next thing is that you need to understand whether the patient is a known case or not. Sometimes for that you need to go through the background information in order to get a clear idea whether the patient is a known case or not. Okay, so for that settings next you have to see whether the patient is a known case or not okay you have to go through the background information thoroughly and you will understand what is the scenario later on the card is not that tough you can go through that one you can perform it as such okay so when you go through the background information, what all information has to be noted? Definitely, you have to see is there any medical history for the patient, whether you have informed earlier about any histories, or whether the patient have any social histories, or whether the patient is having any concerns. All these things has to be noted. Just take a pencil and just interline these informations. What is the concern of the patient? Patient. What is the emotion of the patient, whether it is worried, agitated, anxious, confused, anything can be there. So you just want to underline the emotion of the patient and about any relevant social backgrounds or any relevant medical backgrounds. Later, the patient's emotion. That as I said, what is the emotion of the patient? Sometimes the patient, as I told you, may be agitated, anxious, or sometimes even intoxicated. So sometimes the patient will, will do will not make any harm on you. So you don't want to worry about the patient. Sometimes you'll be getting a very cooperative patient, but not always. Sometimes the patient can be uncooperating. By reading the background information, you will understand whether the patient is cooperative or not. So plan it accordingly. Okay. The next Next thing is that you have to go through the task. You have to see the verb form of the task. Like there can be some find out, explain, reassurance, persuade, or else justify. So these type of verbs will be there that will tell you the task which you need to perform. Sometimes you need to explain about something. What to explain is given over there. You just want to go through it and explain it as such. 
what are questions has to be asked it's given over there then the what is there to worry about everything is there in front of you you just want to go through the card get relaxed and start the road day as such okay i hope you understand how to utilize the three minutes preparation time thank you thank you so much